Welcome back, friends. Lost Guy here, and it's time for Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. And I'm reshooting an episode. Uh, there were some technical issues, and the sound wasn't recorded, so I gotta redo this episode. I did some amazing voices, now I gotta try to remember what they were. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll explain what my thought process was in the puzzles as we go through them. Ah, oh, son of a bee. Not happy about this. I have you on this. The story so far. At Emmy and Luke's urging, Layton is recounting his past experiences with the Mask of Chaos. A young Herschel comes home from school to learn that his father has left with some suspicious looking men. I gotta try to recapture these amazing voices. And they were. I was so proud of them. Now I gotta remember what they were. Mmm. Mmm. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Where's Pa? I can't see him anywhere. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Okay. Henry, though, is good to get a recheck on because I did help poorly on Henry. Oh. Like, he looks like a lanky guy, kind of weird. Maybe he won't be weird in the future, but he just looks like a. Doesn't look like much of a guy either. He's just a lanky guy. Here's the voice I'm gonna give him. Well, good evening. Uh, hello, Henry. Are you out shopping? Yes, I've been sent to purchase the week's groceries for the household. I see, that's a bit rough on you, isn't it? It's just part of my duties, and may I ask where you are bound? Oh, I'm looking for my father. You haven't seen him, have you, Henry? I would voice this guy like Than if I had that voice. No, I'm afraid I haven't. I'm very sorry, I can't help you. That's alright. Hmm. Hmm. Uh... Hmm. Uh, right. Uh, I suppose I'd better go on looking then. Yes, I wish you luck. There we go. Let's see. So this is a coffee shop. He comments that he prefers tea. There's a coin over here. Like that. I think there was an object somewhere. There it is. Got the object. There it is. And then this guy's a puzzle. And I gave this guy a pretty good voice, but let's see how we go. Hello, I'll show you look well today. That's not exactly it, but I'm going to take it. Good evening, Lionel. You know, I just saw that bean poor Andrea from the ice cart else. This is to make that boy pull his weight. Speaking of pulling weights, I got some bricks from my mom's garden ball, but I can't work out how much they weigh. So this is an interesting puzzle. Now, I'll admit I got it wrong at first. So, the way this puzzle works is, there's nine bricks, two of them next to each other are adjacent. Uh, I mean, two adjacent bricks are heavier than the rest. He wants to use the heaviest bricks to fill in these two holes. And so he, and he's going to lift the bricks one at a time to figure out which ones they are. Which ones are they? Which, which, uh, how do you figure out which one's the right one? I originally reasoned it was eight, because you would just lift all these, and once you get to the eighth one, you'd know... Uh, if it was 8 and 9 at the end, you'd know, but that's incorrect. And I thought maybe 7, because you only need this many, because if you didn't if you didn't find it here, obviously it's these two. But then the realization is, no, 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 they're adjacent. So, you just need to do every other brick. So, 2, 4, 6. If you didn't find the heavier brick anywhere here, then all you need is one more. So you go to brick 8. Oh, yeah, no, no, you got a brick seven. Brick seven is the fourth pickup. If this one is light, then these two are it. If this one's heavy, then it's eight. Because you already picked up six. The way they reason it is, you could lift up nine instead of seven. And since if nine is heavy, then you know it's eight. If nine is light, then you know it's got to be seven and eight. Yeah, I think seven or nine, either way you do it, should be fine. So the answer is four. Boop. Here goes. I hate his reaction every time. Can be quite fun. Correct, it's four. For example, he might start by lifting bricks two, four, and six, and if one of them is heavier, he can then lift a neighboring brick. If that brick isn't also heavy, then he knows the one on the other side is. If none of the bricks out of two, four, and six are heavier than the rest, he can lift, simply lift nine. And if nine is heavier, then eight must be the other heavy brick. If nine isn't heavy, then it has to be seven or eight. Yeah. You can do the same thing with seven, I think. There we go. 
Oh, that's right, clever that is. You have my thanks, lad. Happy to help. I'll be on my way then. Good luck with the wall. Toodaloo! Then I gave a voice kind of like that to the next guy, so pull out. Next place. We're now going to meet his Uncle Doug. Right, 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 right. Just realized something. Okay. So after we do this puzzle, we're going to get a bunny puzzle to do. A, bun a bunny play to do. And I figured that one out pretty well. I did some trial and error. We're just going to skip the trial and error, basically. Oh, why didn't I read this? Oops. Too busy thinking and talking. Next puzzle. Doug. I gave this guy a different voice. What could have happened to Pa? He doesn't usually stay out this late. Ahoy there, uh, Herschel. Why are you off to in such a hurry? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I was trying to give him Mr. T voice. And I, f I don't remember how I did it. It was good. Hit it, fool. Hit it, fool. There. Ahoy there, Herschel. Where you from to... Where you off to in such a hurry? <laughs> like a white Mr. T, obviously. Hello, Uncle Doug. Have you seen Pa anyway? Roland? Can't say I have. No. I am Herschel, my boy. How would you like to give your Uncle Doug a hand with a puzzle? I have not heard Mr. T in 20 years, but still, I heard him a lot when I was a kid, so I'm just pulling from old memory. So this is an interesting one. Oh, God, I didn't change the camera. I was too wrapped up in things. My bad. The perspective tenants of this row of houses have unusual requirements. I want to live next to a red house. No blue neighbors, please. Oh, and a house on the end is out of the question. Two doors down from a yellow house, and no neighbors of the same color as us. I'm fine with any color as long as it's not blue or red. Can you repaint one, just one house so that every tenant can have their dream home? Touch a house and change its color. So I actually figured this out really quick. I'm happy about it. So we see the things. I want to live next to a red house. That's house number one. No blue neighbors, please. Oh, and a house on the end is not out of the question. It'd have to be one of these two houses. So I surmise the blue house is the one that's one blue neighbors. Three, two doors down from a yellow house and no neighbor is the same color as us. Obviously, if I made this house uh, yellow, like this would work out. But I forget why it wouldn't work out. So, um, I know neighbors, so this would work out. And then I think four is where it screws. Uh, whatever. The answer is well, this one's yellow. <laughs> I forget why I did all this reasoning and there was one is yellow, uh, two is blue, three is red, and then four is this house and it needs to be yellow because they don't want to be blue or red. Because this cannot be, uh, this cannot be, I mean, this can't be one, this has to be one. This wants to be next to a red, this would have to want to be next to a red house and it just doesn't work out. The answer is yellow. This one's yellow. I explained it better the first time I did this. Oops. Well. I think this may be I think it. I showed my reasoning better the first time. Aha! Quite fun. Yes, Layton. Correct. Repainting the rightmost house in yellow satisfies all the tenants' conditions. Never mind the cost of materials and labor, the landlord ought to charge all four of them for the time it took to work out which house to paint. Puzzles. Oh, 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 oh. Switch it up. Switch it up. Yeah. We got a new race of Postman Bun. Marvelous, my boy. Yeah, you, you truly are your father's son. What did you say you were up to again? Pa left the house in a hurry earlier. Ma is worried and sent me out to look for him. Oh, Tosh. You see, it's always such a war against. But if I see Roland, I'll give him the word. Thank you, Uncle Doug. Well, Pa's not in town, so I suppose he must have gone on towards the woods. Alright, so now it's time for the bunny show. Alright, so we're doing the bunny show. The bunny's gonna learn some new things. So, nothing new to chat. It's time for a rabbit show. Boop. The bunny postman's work is never done. Delivering letters to all the denizens of the forest. Oh, my throat's not happy because I was doing all this and now I gotta do it again. Oof. Okay. Alright. Bunny is the local postman in the woods. He loves delivering the post because he gets to see his friends every day. Ready to give it your all? First, I want a gleeful look. Okay, so I got this right last time. Yeah, this one. Cheer. The only party, 
The only part he doesn't like is getting up early. Bunny is not a morning rabbit, and is in the habit of oversleeping. What would you do if you were stuttered awake? Do that. That would be shock. But even on those days, he always finishes his round in good time. This is the key part you hear. Look playful, act the fool. This is Waggle. It's a teensy bit dangerous. It's dangerous, so you're scared. Got it? So, shiver. But luckily, he has a secret shortcut that leads him just about anywhere in the woods. So, let's see here. Let's go with... Mm, jumped. Today's post bag is bulging with letters and parcels, so he'd better get going. Prance. The end. Or no, this is gonna work. I'm going to be watching you carefully, got it? Postman Bun. Bunny's local postman in the woods. He loves delivering the post because he gets to see his friends every day. Excellent, keep that silly grin. Keep going. The only part he doesn't like is getting up early. Bunny is not a morning rabbit and is in the habit of oversleeping. Hmm, good. Better than your average rabbit's look of surprise. Keep going. But even on those days, he always finishes his round in good time. You really turned on your small fuzzy charm there, didn't you? Keep going. It seems a bit dangerous. Alright, that looks suitably nervous. Keep going. But luckily, he has a secret shortcut that leads him just about anywhere in the woods. That could work. Keep going. Today's post bag is bulging with letters and parcels, so he better get going. Well, why not? Hmm. The end. Hmm. That seemed acceptable. I just hope you can keep it off. Bravo! Postman Bun, come please. Now we're gonna learn some new emotions. Okay, so here's the plan. I think we're going to need to think of even more moves to use in the next few plays. Let's see, maybe you could act as if you were walking around nervously? You might also need to look a bit sheepish at one point. Rousy. Hmm, I don't know if I can look like a sheep, but I'm sure I'll, I'll learn. You won't find it too tricky, then. Nope, not if you're teaching me, Luke. But don't forget to write them down. Don't worry, I, don't, I know how important this is for you. How could I forget? Oh, and there's one more action that might come in handy. Just try act like you're working really, really hard at something. Can you do it? Really, really hard? Hmm, that sounds really, really hard. I always find it really, really hard to dig into the ground when I'm making a home, but I find it satisfying too. That sounds just like what we need, working hard to achieve something positive. Just plant the ground with everything you've got, and that should be a doodle, a doodle. I'll put that one in the bunny general's dick. Give it a go when you've got to time to go. Okay. Dig. Blush has been learned. Spy. Stamp. Worry. Now there's another one we're going to learn right now. Chat. Why are you up? Do now, Snowball. Huh. Today uh, we'll be mostly trying to roll around on the ground. Whoa. As in tumble forwards, head over tails. A ball fluff on your worm. I can't take it. I want to give you a cow. <laughs> um, I'll give you a little hand with that wall in yours if you don't mind. <laughs> Tumbles away. Alright, so now we're going to train him on those two things. We're going to train him on rolling and on digging. So let's do roll first because that was easy to do. You just got to rub his back. There we go. And it's cute as balls. And they can do a back roll. That's what you call a roll, isn't it? We call it show us open PE, but yes, I have to uh, say it's much cuter when you do it. Mm-hmm. I feel a tad dizzy, though. But you did, and that's what counts. I'll update the bunny drone now. Use it when you want to make people laugh. Okay, but I'll probably be dizzy again afterwards. Alright, now I'm going to do the other one. Now I'm going to do Dig. Dig took some figuring out. I think you just click right here. Yep, there we go. You tell him, hit the ground. Dig. Dig, boy. This is what, um, that's just what we're looking for. Perfect. Keep doing that and you'll look at, as focused as a husky. You think so? I'm updating my bunny journal like this moment, alright? 
You can bring out this action when you want to work rid of the salmon. Okay, I understand. Alright, now we'll just read the new much we just gained. Here's all things we just gained. Blush. A little, embar a little embarrassed. This is like getting a compliment, but you feel embarrassed, but kind of pleased, too. Dig. Work hard at digging. Intently pawing at the ground everywhere looks like hard work. This is Use this to show determination. Spy. Look around furtively. All that glancing around can make you look suspicious. Use this when searching for something. Roll. An adorable forward roll. He's so cute when he rolls up into a bow. Use this for playfulness. Stamp. Stamp your feet in a huff. Use this action when you're so frustrated you just can't help yourself. Worry. A gush of concern. Don't worry about how to use it. Just use it to express the worry. That's all done. Alright. So that's everything with the bunny. And now it's time to... Go to the next place. Do -do wrong button. There we go. Next place. Alright, so there's an item around here. Well, that tells me they used to sell souvenirs here, but they don't anymore. There's that. There's an item up here. Yep. Feeble lamp. I think that's everything. Oh, no, there's a coin right here. And now to talk to this man, and my last voice of him wasn't great, so I'm seeing a different one is better. Ha, ah, there you are. If I could do the voice of Wilfred Brimley, I think I'd do that one, but I don't have that voice. The diabetes guy? I got diabetes. I can't do his voice at all. Also, he's, he's very dead now, unfortunately. Hmm. Herschel, what's the matter with you? Let's go with that. Hmm. You went off with a group of strangers and didn't come back at all day. Mom's going spare. Oh, your mother just a fuss but pot. I told her they were old friends of mine. She didn't seem to think they looked like friends, and she also said they were looking for me. What a pair of nervous Nellies you both are. I'm right here, safe and sound. As for those men, I know them from years ago. They'd seen you as a baby and were curious to see how you'd grown up as a whole. Hmm, alright. But what were you doing all the way out here in the woods? I wanted to visit the Norwell Wall, so I offered to show them the way. It's quite hard to find for tourists. Tourists? We haven't got, been getting many of those lately. Not these days, no, but back when the wall was excavated, Stansbury was all over the news. The tourists streamed in. They flocked in all year round, day and night, just to see the Norwell Wall. This must have been years before we moved here. I can't imagine Stansbury as a tourist spot. There was a sudden surge of interest in archaeology in this little town. All sorts of scholars and researchers started moving in. People who sought to decipher the wall to crack its secrets to gain knowledge of unknown civilizations. Ah, Paul, you're starting to sound just like Randall. Ho oh, ho ho, you must have a glorious time with your friend Randall, then. Anyhow, let's go home. Best not keep your mother waiting any longer, or she'll be here having kittens. Yes, let's. I'm starving. Any puzzles out here? Nope. Okay, so now I'm caught up. And we were way faster, so we can get more done. Okay, so let's go over here. Well, if I talk to him now, anything? Ah, oh, Roland, I just saw your boy, and he was running around looking for- Oh! Here's the lad, he found you there. Yes, I was just showing some friends around. Thanks for the message, though. Maybe you should tell your missus next time you go gallivant enough. Look at that Herschel here as an expert retriever. Woof woof. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Dog. What? Oh. Alright. Hmm. It's just dialogue. Yeah, yeah, it's just, okay. Next place. Just wanna see if there's any new puzzles with anyone. Probably not, but at least there's new dialogue. The days are just getting shorter and shorter, and all that work was still to do in Mum's gut. That was not the right voice, was it? Okay, whatever. Nothing there. Go. The accent really helps make voices. It really does. There needs to be more accents. That's Gloria. Huh? 
something up there? No! Wrong button! Take your dad to home. To school would be funny. Ma? Ma, I found Pa! Now, Lucille, dear, didn't I tell you those people were friends of mine and not to worry? Well, I didn't know you'd be gone all day, now did I? I don't mean to fret, but if you just disappeared like that... Ma, uh, Ma, I'll be in my room, okay? Call me when dinner's ready. No please, boy. No please. No please. How rude! Rude boy. He's a rude boy. No puzzle from the father? Mm, all that sightseeing has given me quite an appetite. I wonder what's for dinner. Here's Mama. Your father can set the table tonight. You go upstairs and have a rest, dear. I'll call you when dinner's ready. Well, back to man. Go over here. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. There's gotta be puzzles in his room. A globe. Okay, coin. Many drawers. Too many drawers, really. My, my clean room, all down to Ma. All my favorite books are on the top shelf. I feel like I put my favorite books, like, at eye level. Crayon drawing. Interesting. Of his parents when he was a child, I assume. Not now. Maybe now. Alright. Ah, oh, here we go! What on earth? There's a puzzle hidden here. Hmm, Randa must have put it here the last time he was over. Oh, interesting! Pokem Totems! Alright. Who's responsible for this mess? Each of these columns should be three blocks high and have a totem head on top. The heads were arranged from left to right in this order. Yellow, blue, green, red. Use the mallet to shunt the blocks around and restore the columns to their original grandeur. Be careful though, you can never hit the top block in a column. Think carefully about which uh, order you hit the blocks in. Light a stylus on the touch screen. Move the mallet around the top screen. Move the mallet over to an arrow next to block to highlight the arrows, then tap the touch screen to hit the block and shunt it in that direction. You hit all the blocks into places, into place. Should do it. Yeah, nice, got it. Ah, whoa, whoa, wait, I don't have what? What? I was done. What? 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 I have no idea what happened. Okay. I'm confused. What? Why did I run out of mallets? We'll just do this again. I have no idea what happened. Apparently I did something I didn't notice. Wait, yeah, wait. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus, what? Ugh. You never hit the top one. Oh, how am I, wait, how am I supposed to do red? Okay, 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 do, do, do this one, do this one. Why do I get a feeling I'm gonna screw this up somehow? What I'm trying to figure out is, yeah, okay, so things like that, you know, like, yeah. Uh, I have to get a block on top of red to move red over. 
I can't just hit like these over here. How the hell do I do this? I honestly have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. How would that be the answer in any way? Like, ugh. All right, we gotta use the hint coins because I have no idea. Hint coin. Do it. You want to start by shunting blocks into the second column, which is currently empty. Make sure totem heads never fall below their final position. Fourth from the bottom. Yeah. Next one. If you hit any block in the leftmost column, the blue totem will fall below its final position, so leave the column alone for now. Win them out from the right side, shunt three blocks into the empty second column. Yeah. Okay, so that part I'm, I'm doing right. Did that wrong. Okay, so here's where they're getting me. Next one. If here's where we solve this puzzle. One is to keep hitting wherever the bottom rightmost arrow. At the three hits, you should have two blocks in the fourth column. Shunt the plain block onto the red totem, head to the right, and then all you need to do is get the heads in the right place. Huh? Yeah, here's where I'm in trouble. Oh, uh, that took way too long to figure out. Uh, I st uh dang it. There. Ugh. I'm not certain. I feel so dumb. Did I get it? Yeah, you got it. You got it, bro. You got it. Dang it, I feel so dumb now. Well done. Even the totem heads themselves seem happy to be back in their places. Or do they? Welcome, totems. He must have sneaked it in while I wasn't looking. Seriously, is he that desperate to get me into puzzles? Yes. Yes, he is. It's nice to be in my own room again. I can finally read that book. But then I'd have to stop mid-chapter or something. I hate having to stop, but what else could I do? Um, hum, tee tum. Hmm, Roland seems really keyed up today. More so than usual. I'm used to his tre crazy treasure hunt and talk, but he's never been so cocksure before. Maybe he really found something. Come to think of it, weren't he and Dalston arguing over some old indecipherable map the other day? Well, I'm actually feeling quite curious. Rambo must be getting through to me. Worrying thought. Still, imagine if we really did discover an ancient artifact. That would be terrific. Herschel? Herschel! Dinner's ready. What? Already? That was quick. Blue. How was school, son? Anything exciting happen? Not really, just the usual. Well, now you mention it, I lost a fencing bout to Randall. What's the score now, then? Have they decided which one of you will be going to the next tournament? I'm not about to let Randall beat me, Ma. I just need a bit more time to practice. That's the spirit. How about some pudding to strengthen you up, then? Oh, no thanks, Ma. You sure, son? There might be... any. There might not be any left after I've been at it. No, no, I told Randall I'd meet him after dinner. Is that okay? Now, isn't it a bit late to be going out? Don't worry, Ma. We're just going to sit around in Randall's room and talk. Hmm, don't stay out too late, will you? I won't. Thanks, Ma. See you later. Check if there's any more puzzles in the room first. No bed puzzle? I'd like to try the world someday, and he will! At sunset, it's, I'm always too caught up in my book to turn the light on. You really should just, you know, turn the light on for your eyes to say, Jeez, guy. Alright, there's nothing else. Oh, 
Uncle Doug? Special Bluff, what are you doing out at this time? Hello, Uncle Doug. I'm just going around to Randall's house. Oh, and what is the young sir plotting this time? Can't keep an eye on him, won't you? You can keep an eye on him, won't you? If anything happens to that boy, his father will have the whole country county up in arms. It's alright, Uncle Doug. We're only going to chat. That didn't stop Mr. Ascot sending you home last time. Try not to antagonize the man, Hershey. You won't even know I'm there. See you tomorrow. Wait! Is it Henry and Randall brothers? That what I didn't catch? That's the teacher. Oh, a puzzle! Mr. Collins. Alright. Layton, is that you? Is that the voice I did for Mr. Collins? I think. Good evening, Mr. Collins. What are you doing lurking around the school gate at this hour? Have you finished the short essay I gave you? Uh, pretty much. Huh. You'll no doubt find this puzzle a piece of cake, then. Ooh, a puzzle. Okay. Brave the caves. Oh, oh this is a bigger one. The explorer wants to go from point... 1 to point 0.5. To do so, he must pass through the correct four uh, caves in the cave complex shown. Their own caves are filled with horrible traps. Okay. He has with him four photos, A to D, taken by an explorer who made it through successfully. Work out the correct route using the photographs. However, keep in mind that you don't know which photo was taken where. Okay. These are all correct, though. So... We need to surmise what goes where. So then. 1 to 2. Any of these look like the rest. Okay, so... This door would see nothing. So maybe it's B? Or C? Uh, okay, these angles. So, the middle is always going to be straight on, I'm going to assume. Or not. Ugh, Jesus. I do not like this one at all. Hmm. Okay, let's narrow this down. Which one, which door looks like it would see two doors? Which door looks like it would see two doors? No, no, no. None of these would see two doors. This one might see two doors. This, this one right here might see these two. This one doesn't see those two. This one, would you see that one? What I've noticed is none of these doors see other doors besides D. So find the one where it's a door that sees the most doors. I don't think it's this one. I don't think it's that one. I don't think it's this one. I think it's this one or it's this one. Maybe this one. It's a straight on shot. Hmm. It could be this one, because it's straight on, like it goes straight and then might see these two. The angle isn't perfect. Okay, it's definitely not this area. Oh, okay, so B, okay, we can see what B is. So B is, you would be curving like this this way and that's gotta be this one so it's this one so this is b i'm mostly certain it's b so d has to be This area is D, I just don't know which one it is, necessarily. It could be up here? Or it could be right here, like they go straight up and then... then... I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, uh, surmise this might be D. So A and C. Both are from looping this way. So... So this one might be A. 
This one can also be a C feels like the same thing. Oh, the ground tells you something. The ground is a clue. Right there, dirt ground. So it's okay, this one's A, this one's A, this one's A. I believe it is this one. I believe this one is A. So then which one is C? I assume this one's C. Alright, I assume this one's C. Alright, we will now see if I'm right or wrong about these, so... Come save. Turn them in! I think this may be it. But mm, all right, what's the clue here? Another go at that one. No, even if it runs into one of those horrible traps, right? Let's assume D's my mistake. Let's try the other D. Here goes. Ah, that's what I got wrong. Puzzles can be quite fun. I picked the wrong one for, for D, that's all. I got the D wrong. If you have a, a good look at the scenery and the distance of each photo, you can tell where they were taken. The light will be on the left-hand side of a cave that bends right and vice versa. With this in mind, you can work out the correct routes. Yeah, yeah, sure, okay. Partially what I did, partially. Brave the caves. Hmm, you have done your homework after all. Yes, sir. Well, don't stay out too late. Uh, too late. We don't want your mother to start worrying. I won't, sir. Oh, this guy, Dalston. All those questions about what was it, the Mask of Chaos? What soft-boiled scheme has he cooked up this time? Hmm? What's Dawson doing out here at this hour? Oh, Layton, be it late for a stroll. I could say the same to you, Dalston. Do your parents even know you're out? Maybe, maybe not. Who cares? I go where I like when I like. Hey, I just saw Angela go by. You lot want to have another of your little archaeology parties, do you? Are you? I really don't know what Angela sees in that posh, posh brat. His parents aren't even as rich as mine. Uh, well... And what about you, Layton? Aren't you tired of playing along with old brisk brat's uh, party ideas? I might not care about the archaeology, but I do enjoy listening to Randall in full rant. He's good at talking, that's for sure. Never shuts up, but aren't we getting a bit old for kitty adventures? They aren't kitty adventures, Otelson. Anyway, we're only 17. We're already 17, you mean? Thought you'd have growing out of puzzles and riddles by now. Like this one, how easy is this? There we go. House number 26, Mangled Maths. What the balls? Dulcet has posed Herschel a maths problem. It's written on a homework sheet, but it's torn in several places, making it very difficult to read. Dulcet smirks as he watches Herschel examine the puzzle. With an air of self-satisfaction, he says, Still struggling, but this is the simplest maths problem ever. Can you help Herschel work out the answer to the problem? Write down the number. Alright. So, what is A equal, what is B equal? So, A equals what? B equals what? Okay. Uh, okay, B equals 4. Alright, so we know what B equals. Okay. B equals 4. This is the final thing right here, okay. A plus B minus 630 something equals something. Alright. Is that an 85 or a 35? Well, the way to know is let's say it's 35. 35 plus 3. Uh, whoops. 
362 is equal to 397. Does EA equal 397 or not? If it doesn't, then we just add some more to make it. Okay, so... Oh, no, no, okay. Not that full B equals 4, it's that these things are B equals 4. Okay. So, 397 minus 709. Oh, jeez, I'm doing this very bad. 709 something 4 equals B. Ah, okay, this is algebra, but I'm not understanding what I'm doing here. Um, well, oh, no, 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 here's what you do, here's what you do. Clear this all up, clear this all up. The problem is, I don't know if it's an 8 or a 5. And also, is that another number? That's another number, that's like a 1 right there. It looks like a 1, I didn't see that 1 before, so clear this all out. Yeah. I guess it's not a 3, because the 3 would look like this 3. Yeah, all the 3s look similar. No, it could still be a 3. Okay, so then, let's say, okay, so A is these things, so 351 plus 362, this is A, plus, um, oh god, plus 351 plus 362. This is assuming it's 360. Uh, minus 709. Uh, we don't know yet what symbol is. 4 equals B. So then uh, when you do this one, it would be. Okay, so this plus all this. So don't, don't need to have B here. So we erase the B. Uh, um, let's say that this is a minus 4. Let's say it's a minus 4. Minus 4 minus 90 equals question mark. Now, the things to keep in mind is we are assuming certain numbers are the ones we think we see, and I'm just going to underline the ones that I'm not sure what I have correct. Oh, minus 690, uh, 630. Right. Minus 630. Did I just rewrite this part? Okay. Minus 630. Minus 90 equals question mark if there's an easy way to do it I don't I don't know it it's been too long on the on having the algebra now that I do that correctly so we're gonna do all these numbers assuming we're correct so uh, <laughs> so assuming this is that's a three not an eight because an eight would just make this number too big so these numbers would become uh, 600, 713? 713. Am I correct in 713? Um... Yeah, 713. 713. So 713. Uh... Plus 713. This is assuming it's only pluses and minuses. Plus 713. So 713 plus 713 is equal to 1426. So 1426. Fourteen twenty-six. Minus 709 is equal to, oh, 
two to seven. One seven. Yeah, I think I did that. Seven one seven. We got seven one seven. Do I need to get a calculator real quick? Uh, let's play it safe. Make sure I'm not mathing incorrectly because I'm not being confident in my numbers right now. Three fifty one plus three sixty two. Yes, three seven one three. Seven one three plus seven one three. Uh, fourteen twenty six. Okay. 1426 minus 709 is 717. Okay, good. We're good so far. 717. 717. So it's 717. 717 minus 4 equals 713 minus 6. 30. All right, so 713 minus, whoops, 713 minus 630 is 83, or at 83, so it's 83, and let's assume it's plus 90, just to make this simpler, because... If it's minus 90, then we get a negative. I don't think we're going to get a negative number here. So plus 90 is going to give us uh, 170 plus 90 equals 173. All right, let's assume this is all correct. Let's assume 173 is the answer. Now, if I'm wrong about that, we would add like a 4, and then we would... I uh, have to have more numbers than that other one. This is assuming this is correct, so scum shape. Wait, what did I say it was? 173. 173. Here goes. What's the suggestion here? Oh, I thought maybe. Dalton says it's a simple problem. That can't be right, or can it? Alright, let's try again. Uh, 173, so then it's 177, because you add the 4 instead of minus the 4. I think this may be it. Okay. Anything else we put wrong in the memo? Let's see here. Well, if you plus this and minus this, it'd be 87. Oh, that can't be it. Ah, uh, did I do something wrong in the numbers? I don't think I did. I think these numbers are right, right? Uh, let's go and do the hints, because obviously I'm doing something wrong. What if that's not a 1 and that's not that's a different number over there? Alright. Go and do hints, because obviously I'm not going to get it. Just smoothing out the creases won't help. There are some necessary parts of the equation missing that might be make it impossible to solve. However, Dalton seems convinced that it's a simple problem. Surely he wouldn't say that about multiple variable equations. What's going on? Oh, it's a trick. Seventeen minus seven? This is a one, this is seven minus a seven. Is that really the trick here? Control. Here goes. No, all right. Well, I'm see. I'm looking into oh, it incorrectly. I thought maybe. Whoops. Okay, I am looking at this incorrectly. Next hint. Why does Dalton, who's standing right in front of Herschel, find it much easier to solve? He's looking at the homework sheet upside down. Doesn't that just make it harder to read? Try looking at it upside down yourself and see if it helps you. I see a 1 and a 7 minus a 7. But I see. But apparently it's not a 1 and a 7. Alright, give me, give, give me more. When you look at the sheet upside down, did you notice anything? Maybe Dawson isn't looking at those equations at all. Certainly those rips in the paper are shaped uh, quite strangely. Is there some kind of special meaning to them? That's a 2! That's a 2! 
thought it was a seven. Who does she upside down and focus only on the rich parts? It looks as if they form a mass problem of their own. It appears to read 17 minus 2, a far simpler problem. <sighs> Fudge me. I think this may be it. I saw a 7, not a 2. Uh. Hate Looks you, game. I got it. Hate you, game. Ugh, there we go. Correct. Hope you didn't tear your hair out. From there, where uh, Dunstan, Dalston is standing, the torn parts of the page uh, form a 17 minus a 2. The answer, of course, is 15. Thought I saw a 7, not a 2. Ugh. Mangled maths. <laughs> I think Ascot's infected with his puzzleitis. You're pretending not to care, but you enjoy it really. You and Angela. I can't afford to get wrapped up in your little games. Not if I want to become a successful hotel magnet. By the way, I saw that errand boy from the Ascot house carrying two huge shopping bags earlier. There's a busy bee and he's no older than us. You'd never catch me being a bust or end like that. Well, you're not Henry. As long as he's happy with it. Yeah, aren't you just the same though? Letting his lordship count Bat Blatula. Lead you around by the news. I guess he works with him and he doesn't live in... He's not one of them. Look at... You sound awfully sour, Dalston. If you want to join us, you should just say. Anyway, I really should go. See you tomorrow. And we'll save there. Whee! There we go. Alright, so that is it for now. I had fun. Hope you have fun watching. That's what's up, Bazin. Having fun. Thanks for coming by and see you next time.